So one of the possible errors that you might see on a best code printer, uh, we've had it reported a couple of times, is when the screen comes up with a pop-up saying that the ink tank is full. And when you go into the service screen, you'll notice that the um, viscosity will be down around about 1.3, 1.6, something like that, which is obviously way too low when the target is 4.5. So what's happening there is that the makeup, the cleaner is going into the ink tank. Uh, so it's diluting the ink tank. And then uh, every time you shut down, there's more more uh, makeup going into the ink tank and it's filling up and that gives you that uh, ink tank full status. So a couple of things that this could be. Um, so let's go ahead and check a few things. So first thing is um, up the top left hand corner here, you see it says next 88. Uh, this tells me that I've got a gen two printer. If it just says 88 without the next word, that's going to be a Gen 1 printer. So we need to make sure that we have the printer set up to the right generation. Um, if it's a Gen 1 printer and you have it set to Gen 2, then that could be causing or it would be causing uh, all of that uh, makeup to be going in the ink tank. Every time you turn the machine off, um, it's going to be instead of flushing the print head, it's going to be just putting all of that flush into the ink tank so over a period of a, a time every time you turn it on and off over a period of time it's going to dilute that ink so the way we check that is we're going to go into sign in and we're going to sign in with the gotech password and then we're going to go into services and then into tools and then into technician and then configure. So again, it's right now it's set to hardware generation two, which is correct because my printer had that next logo on the model number, so hardware generation two. Now, if it didn't have that next, all you would do is you would scroll to generation one, and then you would configure it by pressing the button and making it green. So mine's a gen two, so I'm gonna go ahead and change mine to gen two. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing it might be are, um, is a solenoid, uh, a solenoid valve that is stuck open uh, and it's typically going to be the add makeup solenoid valve uh, and that's stuck open and that's allowing, it's not closing properly and that's allowing uh, the makeup to come over into the ink tank. So there's a separate video on how to clean a solenoid valve um, but to get there, so basically we're, we're looking at checking the solenoid valve to make sure they open and close. So from service, fluidic, and then I can go through each one of these and make sure they click. All right, so um, the add makeup valve seven here is probably going to be the one that uh, is uh, at fault. Could be the bleed, but predominantly it's the add makeup.